Hey guys, it's me, Gloria. Okay, listen. I was sitting here messing around with my, uh, my design space. And I don't know if you guys seen this prior, but this is new to me. They just started coming out with the new features on the design space. So, I want to show you what I end up doing. And it is phenomenal, guys. I just love it. This slice feature. I used to do this with my gypsy. And in order for me to do this with my gypsy... Instead of welding the pieces together, I would have had to lay them right on top of my the cut and then let it cut out that way because anything that's on top of another cut would just cut right through. But with this design space, it's, it comes out even more better. So let me show you what I end up doing. So I like for instance, you could pretty much take any solid shape and a lot of times you just want to make a design to it, right? So you want to i uh, take this pumpkin and with the new design update design space update that just they just came along if you go to the edit panel well if you go to the shape panel and right here it says layers attributes you click on this eye right here and this tells you exactly what cartridge you got this shape from so it's freaking amazing so now I won't lose track of what shape is what and you can search it by the cartridge here or you can use it by the numbers right here okay so let's take this shape right here and let's ungroup and I want to take this shape right here and let's do the polka dots I want to duplicate this a couple of times guys two three four five six seven eight okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one. Oh, no, let me undo. I want to take this one, and I'm going to move all of these to the side. And what I'm going to do is take this design, and I'm going to put it and bring it to the front of my image. And I want to make it bigger than the image that it's on. So then if you can see, you can try to line it up the best that you know. And as you can see, you want to take both of the shapes together, make sure they're joined together, and then you want to press, and as they're not joined together because the slice button is not on. Now they're joined together, so I want to come over here and press on the slice button. And guys, this is so freaking cool. Okay, so then now with the update, you end up getting two to three of the same shape, guys, which is amazing. Instead of the shape disappearing, you have the same shape again. And then you have the circles right here. So you can delete that. Then I want to bring over two of these. And I'm going to use my Align Feature tool. And you want to group them together or join them together and then come up to the Line button and center them out. Then you want to click on the top one and you want to make it smaller than this. And then you're going to group all of them together. Come up here on the line feature and press center. And it will center your shape. Then since you already have these two shapes grouped, you want to come over here and press the slice button. Now here with the slice button, you have one layer two layer which are the small layers are the inside of your cut so you really don't need this right here so let's delete this so we'll have some extra room on the oops on the board okay so then now I want to take my shape that I just punched out the design onto it and then I want to bring this, okay, let me undo this. And then I'm going to join these together and I'm going to weld them because there were some pieces missing. You really don't need the piece, but I'm going to show you that, you know, you don't need it or you can use it. So then you bring this shape over here and you connect both of these and you go to the line tool. And center them so they come centered. Then as you got both of them, you want to come over here and press the weld feature. 
And I don't know why that looks like that. Let me undo something really quick. I am not going to weld that piece together. So I'm just going to come right here. I'm going to delete this. Because like I said, you really don't need it. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to align it centered. And then I'm going to click weld. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see right here, here goes one full shape that will go right on top of here just like this. So if you take both of these shapes together, go to the line tool, press center, no, press bottom. And then you see that the shape comes out and you have your design. Now, like let's say if you don't want the green polka dots coming through, so take this shape right here, come to the color panel, click on the color that you want, and insert it. And then click all of them together and align to the bottom and align to the right. So there goes that shape right there. You see how cool and easy now, guys? That is awesome. So now you have your design that you want. Now I'm going to show you with this design right here. I was messing around, guys, and this design is gorgeous. So now I'm going to bring this down here, and I'm going to make this bigger. And then I'm going to put my pumpkin right in front of it. And I want to make sure that I don't have this part right here. And I'm going to click them together. I'm going to arrange this to the front. I'm going to click both of them together. I'm going to press slice. And this one right here, guys, it is so amazing and it's so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the negatives out. Now remember, the piece that you want to keep is the yellow piece. All the other pieces are gone. You can get rid of them. Now, look at how beautiful this is. Then you want to take two of these shapes. And you want to center them. Make the top one smaller. And bring it there. Take both of the shapes. Center them. Press the slice button while you got them joined together. And now you have your two pieces that you don't need. And then you're going to bring these two together. Click on them. Center them out and then press the weld button because you want to weld that frame around your shape. So there goes. Okay, let me get the. And look at how cool this shape is, guys. For some reason. I made this pretty big and I know I had changed it so I want to bring this to the front because I'm going to line it up I'm going to bring it like that then I'm going to take both of these I'm going to line it to the center well to the bottom and look at how gorgeous that is. And like I said, if you don't like that color on the inside to be green, you could just go and change this color and bring this forward. Okay. Okay, it would be nice if I click on it. Yay! Okay, click on this. Arrange it to forward. Okay. So now I have that. Look at how beautiful that looks, guys. Oh, let me undo that. And there you go, guys. 
the possibility is endless. Look at how beautiful that shape is. Okay. Let me show you one other one. Um, I end up taking this shape right here of the stars. And this was a card. And I just sliced it in half. Because I wanted to use the pattern on it. So let me bring you guys down here a little bit. Because it's looking kind of crazy up there. Okay, and then you make this a little bit bigger. Bring your image to where you want the design to go. And then you're going to click the pumpkin. And you're going to press slice. And then you just keep on doing it, guys. I mean, the possibilities, like I said, are endless. I mean, they're awesome. And as you can see, look at that cut right there. So then you probably want to take this cut. Is this the same size? Let me undo that. And then let's put this. And to use the same cut, I'm going to weld everything together. Then I'm going to duplicate this shape. And I'm going to line it up on top to the bottom, um, I mean to the center. And then you want to click on the top layer, make it a little bit smaller, click on both of them together, center, and then weld, or not weld, slice. And then here goes your other cut, and you want to take this right here, join these two together, line it up so you know that it is centered and it's going to cut out perfect. Then you're going to weld this together. Now, look at this right here. Now, for some reason, the design space is going wonky ever since the update. The, it's, the the process has been slow. There's a lot of mishaps. So you just work with it and just keep on. It could be the way I place my image to kind of cut that off. But then you have that. And if you don't like that color, there goes the black. And look at how awesome. And you could do the same thing with the chevron pattern, guys. I mean, the possibilities are awesome. And then click both of those together. Press slice. Out of all of them I did, guys, I really like this flower one. I mean, that is so beautiful. And just imagine the layers you can do with a square as your layout. I mean, it's amazing. So here goes your cut. Then you want to take another one of these and this one. And I think I did something wrong. I think I erased the wrong one. Yes, I did. I erased the wrong one. So I want to delete that. I want to keep the blue layer. And I want to get rid of this one. Then I want to come right here. And align it, center, take the top part, just make it a little bit smaller, guys, to make a little trim to go around, and align to the center. I know I'm repeating myself, but sometimes when you keep on repeating yourself, you end up, uh, you want to slice that, you end up learning, and it just like programs in your mind, guys. So, if you think I'm repeating myself, just fast forward. Okay, so, center this. Weld it together. And look at how awesome this chevron is. It is so cool. So, guys, there goes a cute, not a cute, but a tutorial how to add different patterns to your shapes. And your cuts to make it your own. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please thumbs up. And I'll come back soon. Bye now.